In this video, I'll show you how to set up your CAT S22 flip phone from the beginning till the end. So let's get started. First step, when you got the phone out of the box, you need to install the SIM card. So how to do this is on the back of the phone over here, you see, there's this cover with a screw. Take a coin, a 10 cents coin, well, one yen coin, whatever, and undo this screw by turning it counterclockwise this way. Once the screw is undone, we can lift this cover. You see here, there's a small gap. Take your nail and simply unclip the back. You may have to do it all around until the cap pop pops out. This is the battery of the phone. Stick your finger right under it here and lift it out. It will come like this. You can stick it, you can put it on the side. And here we are presented with the two slots that are on the phone. Over here on the left side, we have the micro SD card slot. So if you have some videos, some photos, or even some music you like to keep on the phone, this is where your micro SD card goes. But in our case, we want to put the SIM card and this is its slot over here. Take your SIM card and you'll notice that they even show you in which direction you should put it with the cutout corner on the top left side. So here is my SIM card and you see the cutout corner is on the top left side. You'll need to lift this metal cover like this. Let me show you better. And then put your micro SD card. Okay, whoops. It may be difficult at first because it's so small. All right, it's in place. Now I can close the metal cover over it so it's secured. Next step is to put the battery inside of the phone. You see there are some contacts over here, three of them. You need to match them with these three um, contacts of the phone. Press the battery. Take the cover, place it over and it needs to clip. You should not see the red part at all. Great. And now it's time to put back the screw. Once it's done, we can finally turn on the phone. And how to do this? You open the phone like this and you need to keep press on this red button during two seconds until you see something appearing on the screen, then you can release it. Now you just have to wait. Okay, the phone completely turned on and now we have this blue screen. You need to press the yellow start button then it will ask you to insert the SIM card, but we already did it. Usually you should have a message saying that the SIM card has been recognized and it's good to go. If not, don't worry, just press the skip button over here on the lower left side. Now they will ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi network that is at your workplace or at home, depending where you are, you just have to scroll. You can use, by the way, this screen has a normal touch screen or you can use the pads over here, the buttons. Select your network, and now it's time to type the password of this network. Once you're done, you're gonna press the connect button. Now they will ask you if you want to copy the apps and data from another phone that you have. So if this is your brand new phone and you want to transfer the settings of your older phone on it, it's time to press next button. In my case, I want to start fresh, so I'll press don't copy. Next step, they will ask you to sign in into your Google account. You also have the choice to skip it in case you don't want to download any apps. Let's say you're just gonna use this phone to make some phone calls and that's about it. Receive message, text message, 
and nothing more you don't need to have games you don't want to have your emails on it then you can just press skip but if you do want to download any kind of apps from the Google Play Store you'll need to sign in into your Google account and this is what I will do right now so enter your email or phone that is associated with your Google account then you'll need to type the password of this account and once you're done press the next button it will ask if you want to add a phone number to this Google account you can go down over here and add one or simply press skip go down and press I agree then go down and you'll have to choose if you want uh, this phone to be backed up on your Google Drive account this is up to you so you can check and uncheck these things also we have location over here if you want Google to track your location to have um, since some apps may require this you can check or uncheck uh, allow scanning if you want apps uh, to scan your Wi-Fi network around you this could be uh, useful as well it really depends on what you intend to do with this phone so I cannot give you a clear answer if you need to keep them check or unchecked but in my case I keep them all checked apart this one sent usage and diagnostic data um, so every time your phone crashes Google is informed and it can improve their services but in my case I don't want that so I'll just keep it unchecked and once you go at the end you're gonna press the accept button now it will ask you to create a brand new pin code for your phone this way not everyone will be able to use it you'll need to put this pin code the same thing with any regular smartphone if you don't want to have any pin code because I know during the 90s or even the 2000s I even had a flip phone myself there was no such of thing as a pin code everybody was just opening their phone and you know no one had a passcode so if you don't want one just press on skip and then press on skip anyway here now they will ask you if you want to use the Google assistant so every time you want to ask something you can say hey Google what's the weather or hey Google send a text message to that person if you don't want to have this service just press no thanks if you want to have the Google assistant press continue I'll press no thanks since I really don't need that now they will ask you if you want to set up Google Pay this way if you're shopping online you won't have to press you won't have to type every time your credit card number on your phone it will be already registered if you don't plan to do any online shopping with this phone press skip if you want to add a credit card press add a card I'll press skip go down go down press no thanks here you can go down press next here you can press next as well press agree press more press accept and submit and your phone is booting up right now completely here we go we have the main screen over here and just like any Android phone it works the same way so if you want to open app you just tap on it if you want to swipe left and right to have access to more apps now I don't have any other ones installed you go there if you open an app like the Play Store and you browse and you want to go back there is no home button over here the home button is this circle by pressing it you go back on your home page and this is good if you want to switch between multiple apps so let me open another one and let me open Google Chrome as well and let's say I want to switch between apps I'll just press this square and then I'll be able to browse and tap on the one I want to open I can go back to another one this way 
To make your phone call, you can go into the phone settings here, but you can also at any time on the home screen, simply press any numbers here. Let's say I'm starting with a two and this number pad will open on the screen and you'll be able to dial the number that you desire. Simply press the green button when you're ready and it will dial the number. To connect any Bluetooth device, like a Bluetooth headset, you need to drag down from the top right corner this way. And then you're gonna see the Bluetooth icon on the top left corner here. Keep it pressed. And the Bluetooth menu will open up. Press pair new device here. Put the device you want to pair to this phone in pairing mode and you'll be able to see it in this list. Simply tap on it and it will connect each other. If you close down the phone, you'll notice that obviously it has a second display where you see your Wi-Fi and the battery, including and a small screen with some more information. To charge the phone on the right side here, we have the USB type C port that we need to open the small flap door and then plug the cable over here. We also have the volume button up and down. And if we go on the left side, we have this orange button and this orange button is like a wake up button. So if, so the screen here is not turned on. If I press on it, it will turn on. And the same thing goes if the phone is open and the screen is dark, by pressing it, you just wake up the screen. So this is it. I hope this setup video was helpful for you. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.